Hey y'all, welcome to Games for Young Minds. I'm Kent here with a game that is cleverly disguised as a book. The book is called How Many, and it's by Christopher Danielson. Now, Christopher is the creator of all sorts of mathematical toys and activities, like he printed these tiling turtles and these versatiles, which fit together in all sorts of satisfying and beautiful ways. And I'll certainly be doing a video all about these toys in the future. But Christopher also has a blog called Talking Math With Your Kids that I started reading right when I became a parent. And without exaggeration, if it were not for that site, I would not be making these videos today. So yes, Christopher has made all these awesome toys and he has this great website, but he's also the author of several books. And today I wanted to share with you my favorite, which is How Many. Now, How Many is a counting book but it's not like a traditional counting book. A traditional counting book looks a little more like this, right? Spot counts to 10. Now this is a good book. It's an important book that teaches some important ideas to little kids. For example, it teaches you that after three comes the number four, and this is what four looks like, and that this little squiggle here matches the word six and matches the amount of carrots on the page, right? These are important ideas. I'm not trying to rag on this book. This is a really good book to read to a toddler. But if you've ever tried to read a book like this to a five or a six year old, you'll realize pretty quickly they're over it. They already know the ending. You spoiled it for them when you taught them how to count to 10. Well, how many is a book that you can read to kids way older than spot counts to 10 and they will still find really fascinating things in it. Let me show you why. In how many, instead of going from one to two to three to four and so on, each page you open to simply has a beautiful, well-composed photo and the words, how many? Well, how many what? That's the beauty of the book. Your kids get to decide what they want to count. So maybe they decide to count the eggs. So they say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight eggs in that carton. But are they done counting eggs or should they continue? Do these eggshells count as eggs? Do these eggs in the skillet count as eggs? And by the way, this egg that had two yolks in it, is that one egg or is that two? There's a whole world of conversation and debate and discussion that you and your child can have around these pictures that you're simply not gonna get from spot counts to 10. And it's because you and your kids get to talk about one of the most important conversations in all of math, which is namely, what are you choosing to count and how are you choosing to count it? Let me give you another example on my absolute favorite page in the entire book, the avocado page. So, how many avocados do you see? Well, if your brain works anything like mine does, you immediately saw this three by five rectangle of avocados and you said, oh, three times five is 15. But 15 what? Is it 15 avocados? Well, no, not exactly, because this is not a full avocado. It's half an avocado. In fact, depending on how you consider the pit, it's less than half an avocado. So how many avocados are there really? You and your child get to decide. And there are so many ways to figure out how many avocados there are. Your child could count in pairs and say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Or maybe they count the number of pits and say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pits. So there's about seven avocados. Or maybe they count the number of holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they say, well, there's at least eight out there. Or maybe they just choose not to simplify the answer at all. How many avocados are there? There's 15 half avocados out there. No need to simplify, 15 halves. Now, of course, you can go through and look at each page and count all sorts of different things and have those conversations. But of course, my kids had to turn it into a game because, well, I'm their father and they're my kids. So we turn to a page and my son looks at it and says, four. And then it's me and my daughter's turn to figure out for what? It's all about the units. We've got to figure out what did he count and get four of? Did he count four of these peppers? Did he count four of these pepperoni in a row? Or maybe there's four rows of pepperoni. There's four pizzas that haven't been cut. And we're guessing all these things and he's smiling and laughing and then saying, no, 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 because the actual answer is that he counted four different types of pizza. And then we switch it around and it's my turn to look. And I say 10 and now my son and my daughter are off trying to figure out what 10 I counted on the page. This game is awesome because it's so extensible. You don't have to have the how many book to play the how many game. In fact, once your kids have gotten used to it in this book, you can take it to any other picture book you're reading to them. As long as you've got pictures, you've got something you can count. Not only that, sometimes my kids pick up my cell phone and start scrolling through the pictures and I'll stop them and I'll say, wait, 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 I count seven of something in this picture. Let me know what it is. 
I mean, honestly, my only complaint about this book is that there's only one edition so far. I mean, I would love to see another book that, just like this one's all related to food and cooking in the kitchen, have a bunch of pictures entirely focused on nature or entirely focused on the school building or something like that so that there was an entire series of how many books. I mean, listen, I know I'm a little prone to hyperbole sometimes, but I honestly think that this book should be good night moon level famous. I think it should be in every kindergarten and first and second and third grade classroom in the country because it's just an absolute treasure. It shows kids how creative counting can be, which is not something that a lot of kids have experience with. So if you pick up this book and have an awesome conversation about one of the pictures in here with your kids, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And as always, you can get a game recommendation from me every week if you sign up for my newsletter. The complete archive is at my website, gamesforyoungminds.com. There's dozens of games to choose from there. So thanks for watching, and remember to play games and ask questions. I'll see you soon.